All right, this might be the ultimate gravel slash cyclocross. Depends on which one's your favorite. Cyclocross slash gravel, gravel slash cyclocross, I don't know. I'm pretty split between the two. But anyways, this might be the ultimate setup right here because I've got same bike. If you just wanna have one bike, regardless of what frame this is, I'm not sponsored by a specific bike company at the moment. Hey, you wanna sponsor me? I'm accepting applications for sponsorship. Uh, no. So, regardless of what bike you have, this might be the best setup. It's a SRAM one by system. It's access, there's no cables, it makes it super easy. So, I'm gonna run through with you guys what it looks like from my gravel setup to my cyclocross setup. This weekend is the Major Taylor Cross Race. I'm excited, it's back in my alma mater at Marion University. But I'm training on my gravel bike. Gravel bike. It's gravel right now, but here in a second, it's gonna be a cyclocross bike. So I've got it set up with my training wheels. It's got a 1044 cassette with a 48 tooth one by chain ring, a power meter. It's got the Explore rear derailleur so that it can handle that 44 tooth cassette. It's got two bottle cages and that's about it. So I'm gonna time myself so you guys can have an idea of how long it takes to swap between these two things to actually see Hey, is this realistic? Can I actually do this? Um, it's 9.30 on a Thursday night and I race in less than 48 hours. And so if I feel good enough, maybe that's not a good judge. Actually, you should probably do this before 48 hours before your race in case something screws up. So don't take my advice on this. But regardless, this is doable. It's, it's feasible. You can do this on your own. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Uh, I'm not a mechanic, by the way, also. I'm a, I'm a coach, I'm a bike racer. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and figure out how to do a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't do. Mechanics being one of those things, house DIY projects also being another one of those things. So, let's just jump right in. Here's what I've got. Uh, you really only need these amount of tools, especially if you run the road pedals or you have a second set of pedals, you just leave those suckers on there, one note, if you do have to swap the pedals, take them off before you take the cranks off the bike because trying to take pedals off a crank set that's not on a bike is kind of hard to do. Don't do that. So you've got your separate crank set. This is my cyclocross set, uh, crank set 42 tooth chain ring. Uh, I've got my cyclocross rear derailleur. I'll throw the battery from this one on it. And I've got my cyclocross chain, which is cut to a different size to accommodate the gearing. I've got my cyclocross wheel set over there. I think I only need this three-way, this tool, and this chain breaker. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna time lapse. We're gonna time lapse this thing. Let's go. you got it folks nine minutes and 13 seconds and I'm not gonna lie that was the second time I've ever done that so you give me a couple more tries of that by the end of the cross season I'll have this down to about sub eight sub eight I mean it took me 45 seconds just to put the front wheel on because I'm not a pro mechanic uh, the only other thing you got to do is take off one bottle cage because I race with bottle cages. I got to take off my rock form doohickey here, which takes like literally two seconds. Take that off, put the normal steer tube top on there, slap a GoPro on this sucker. One thing I do want to point out because since we're talking about this SRAM 1x Axis E Tap group set, how easy it was that you just saw to replace this one thing I did want to point out and actually show you all is how easy it is to pair because you're thinking this is a different derailleur but the same shifter so this is where the magic comes in let me show you 
So let's say I'm up here pressing the buttons, click, 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 nothing's happening because I just put that new derailleur on. Well, you put it into pairing mode, you hold that button, it kind of hurts your thumb, I'm not gonna lie, until that thing beeps, and it's beeping. It's saying, pair me up, send me up, uh, Roger, beam me up, Scotty. You go over here, let's get a better angle. You hold that till you see a blink, 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 blink. And then you come over here, do the same thing, you go, Hold it, where's the little lighty? Blink, 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 blink. Paired, paired, press this, complete the pairing. Hey, let's let's press some buttons. Oh, wrong button, we're in the, we're in the max. Yeah, yeah, probably a bad angle, but I'm telling you, when I press this button, it's, you can hear it, it's shifting. It's that easy, y'all. It's that easy. And if you use, you know, well, if your brake if your brake pads are just really worn out like mine are, then you don't have to adjust the brakes. But if you are on like an all zip system, the wheels should be, I think the word is dished. I don't know. The brakes work regardless of all the different wheels that you swap out. So I just swapped wheels and didn't even have to adjust the brakes. Those are good to go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's go time. It's actually Major Taylor time. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and also I'm not sponsored by SRAM, but if somebody who works at SRAM is, is watching this, um, gladly, would, would gladly be sponsored by you guys. So, um, just doing this video because I think this is an easy ultimate setup. If you're gonna do cross and gravel, if you're crazy like I am and you do those two things, I think it's a good setup. I like it. Dizzle out.